Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo channel. My name is Pascal. Today I'm going to do a review of an easy ferment or starter kit and uh, I am also going to make uh, some sauerkraut for you. Uh, it doesn't come with these jars now. These are uh, mason jars, wide mouth mason jars. So the Easy Ferment book comes with it and you get access to their club once you buy something. So inside in it we have, uh, we have three of these lids. We have three weights. And we have the pump. Now there's different vari variations of this. This is the pump. Not necessarily need the pump. So we'll just take everything out of it then and we will uh, lose the box. So. Yes, these, uh, these, are, these plastic lids are very nice. They have a notch here on the side of them. So for instance, here is a, a normal uh, wide mason jar. And I tried this earlier. And these are much easier to put on than the metal ones. And we tighten it like this with this thing here. It gives you leverage. And we have a calendar here. So you have from uh, up to uh, 31 days. For instance, today is the tent. I will put that on the tent here. And, and then we work away. And then we have the pump. We'll take the pump out. The pump just goes on there and it sucks. It sucks the air out of the, and creates a vacuum in it. These valves also release the carbon dioxide. Then, of course, it comes with the weights. Their, their logo is in, imprinted on them. And we'll, we'll just see how heavy they are. They are seven and one quarter ounces, 7.22 ounces. So they will hold down whatever you are fermenting. I've done some uh, hot chilies there. I fermented them before and I didn't have weights like these. And, and what happens is it keeps the, the, your food submerged in the brine. And when, the, when it's submerged in the brine, then it won't get moldy. So. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some sauerkraut and uh, we have some uh, cabbage there in the fridge and all we need to do is add, uh, weigh the cabbage that we're going to slice it thinly and we're going to weigh it and we're going to put uh, salt to the value of 2.25% of the weight of the cabbage. I'm going to sterilize everything now and then we are going to uh, get our cabbage and chop it up. Here I have a, a head of, uh, of white cabbage. Uh, it's only average now. But the first thing I'm going to do is take the core out of it. And then I'm going to take the outer leaves and then I'm going to wash it. When you are fermenting, the same as when you're making beer or anything got to do with fermenting, cleanliness is so important. Now I don't have one for coring this, but we're going to attempt to do it with this knife without cutting my hand. So we have it decored now and uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put that in. That's going to be used for compost. I'm going to take the outer leaves off till I'm 100% sure I'm clean here. And then I am going to wash it. I'm going to put it into the colander here, this colander. And we clean this off and then we'll wash the cabbage. Now in one moment I'm going to sterilize them jars. I'm going to put boiling water in them and sterilize them. I already washed them and, but, and, and put hot water in them, but I'm going to do it again before I start this. Now, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to, before we cut it up, make sure when you decor and you wash it, make sure you drain it upside down like this because all the water actually does go in there. So I'll just use my weighing scales here and I'll see. How, I'm going to do it in grams and then we'll put the cabbage in. Now the cabbage is weighing uh, 927 grams. So 925 multiplied by 2.25% 2 uh, equals, uh, so it's 21, we're going to put in 21 grams of salt. So we put in uh, 21 grams of salt, which is quite a bit. Uh, if you have kosher salt, use that instead. So that's about what it is. It's maybe two tablespoonfuls or something like that. So we'll just set that aside. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up our cabbage. Now, as I said, you can, uh, we're going to use this bowl for, for kneading it and we're going to leave it in it for 15 minutes, but you won't have to wait 15 minutes by the magic of science. So uh, we're going to chop this now. I'm going to cut it in half first like this. Now, if there's a little bit more core, this is the time to take it out. But no, I'm going to, it's meant to be cut nice thin slices and then they will break up. 
we're going to be punching this in. This one's a little bit jigsaw-ish, <laughs> but it will be fine. We will, it, it, it just needs to be cut fine, fairly fine. So now I have it all chopped up. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the salt and we're going to knead it in. Now, if you don't want to use your bare hands, you can use, uh, you can use gloves. Uh, and then we, after I have, I'm going to put salt in now, I'll just put it in like this. It doesn't matter. We're going to, the salt is going to help uh, to take the juices out of the cabbage. The natural juices, rather than use brine water, we may have to use some. I'm going to knead it up for about three or four minutes. I'm going to let it set for 15 or 20 minutes then. I'm just going to leave it there. I'll just put a plate over it. And in the meantime, then I will sterilize the jars here in boiling water or put them in a saucepan of hot water and we will do them up. But first I will do this and you're going to do this uh, maybe you need a bigger, uh, a bigger one than what I have here. Later, when they are in the jar, if the liquid doesn't come up to the top after we push them down, we will just add some, uh, we'll make up our own brine. We'll just make up a little bit of brine and top them up with filtered water now, mind you. So I'll do this and I'll be back in 15 minutes for you in five seconds. So I left that for another 15 minutes. I gave it a squashing. When I was squashing it down with my hands, it's been reduced to very, very little. Now, because I'm going to put it in two jars, I am going, what I'm going to, you can put in spices and stuff like this with it at the moment, but for now, I'm just going to put in some mixed peppercorns and I'm going to mix them in with it now like that, like so, just put what you like in it, you can put. You can make it a bit spicy if you want, but not normally. Caraway seeds, I think to put them in it as well, you can, yeah. So, uh, what we're, because, because I'm doing two jars, all the liquid is in the bottom here, I can see it, you can take it out. I'm going to put the dry part in first. I have sterilized these and the, the, the weight is inside in the bottom of them, and they're still hot even though. So, uh, I put boiling water in them. My hands are perfectly clean. Now, will I be able to get this out now? That's the question. As I said, hygiene is most important. Even the lids, I sterilize them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dry stuff in first. And what I'll do is I'll hold it over here so we don't make too much of a mess. And this spoon is just perfect. And... Uh, I'm going to try and get none of the liquid in yet because I reckon I have two jars. The whole idea is we don't have any air in the bottom, so that's why we're going to try and push it down with our fist, I think. I'm not sure if my fist is not that big. I think I have them near enough even, so uh, I have a pourer on the side of this bowl. I don't review these bowls before. And so we'll pour half in there and half in here. Well, I, maybe a little bit more than half there. And then we put the rest of that in. And now we're going to, we, you can buy a little plunger thing to push it down, but eh, we'll find something to push it down. I think I'll be able to push it down with the weight, but I need to push it down like that, like that. So you can use your hand if you like. Now, Try and get all, make sure your hands are spotless clean, of course. I've washed them about eight times in the last 20 minutes. And yes, we don't need to put extra salt in this. We don't need to put extra, sorry, we don't need to put anything extra in this because you can see the liquid has come up to the top. But what we're going to do is we're going to make sure there's no solid on the side here, like that. And then we will put the weight down on it. And as you see, when we have a peppercorn up on the top there, that's fine. We're not going to fall out over that. And then we're going to push this one down the very same. Make sure we get all the air out of it. It doesn't have to be filled, but make sure you have no solid uh, on the side. And that's all down into the liquid. And then we will put the lid on it like this. No, they're the same. So then we just put our lids on it. And uh, our lids are after being sterilized also. You can use the pump on it if you want to. And so I have this one set on 10 already. This one needs to go right around to here. And both of them are on 10. So we're going to put them in a thing and then we're going to have sauerkraut. 
So now I'm going to put these upstairs. I'm going to put them in, in one of the rooms that have air conditioning in it where the temperature is about 23 to 25 Celsius most of the day, under 75 Fahrenheit. And, uh, and then we will uh, take it out and then I will give it to some of my friends here. The so thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.